Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of the My City in Lockdown series. Um, I'm Robin, I'm in Amsterdam. This is week 3, I'd say day 18 or 19 or even 20. I don't even know anymore. Um, first off, I really want to say thank you to all the cities and city captains that have uh, contributed to this series. It's amazing to see how we're all like-minded and, and uh, yeah, have our story to tell and to share. Um, and this week's is, uh, yeah, it's it's going okay. My friend is back from the hospital, he's back home, so he's uh, uh, recovering, which is a very positive uh, note, I would say. And yeah, and, and we're all encouraged, encouraged to stay at home. Uh, despite the beautiful weather outside, parks are getting closed or shut off, so we really have to stick at home. So that's what we do. Um, so then we look out for, for other great initiatives to do at home or support others with. And um, we've created a lockdown list on our website, so please check it out, it's really cool. It maps out different initiatives for things to do at home, to uh, supporting others in need. Um, and yeah, we're all in this together, right? So initiatives that uh, I really like is, is helping elderly, for example. So you can have a call or take a video call with an elderly and take them around the park. So there's a big shout out for, for tablets and phones to be uh, handed out to these elderly in these homes so they can join us on the walks that we do uh, on a daily basis. And then there's cool initiatives that help uh, create face masks because there's a shortage in, in, uh, uh, in hospitals to, to help create face masks. So uh, people are working really hard to create these. But there are also other cool creative initiatives that really support us uh, for example, in our video calls. So there's initiatives that create backdrops so we can make our backdrops during a video call more attractive. So there's a great website um, calling out all kinds of creatives to, uh, to, yeah, to send in these cool uh, video calling uh, backdrops. So definitely check them out. Um, if you have any others to share, please do. Uh, enjoy the other cities and their initiatives and how they're doing. Um, yeah, and stay safe and stay healthy. All right, stay tuned. See ya. Bye. Hi, this is Netta from Melbourne, uh, just with my update basically. Um, I'm 14 days into isolation, working from home, but uh, I am able to go outside. Um, in Melbourne here we can go outside, but you just can't be gathered in a public place with more than two people, uh, which pretty much does restrict you from having any social life. But, um, you know, we've adapted to doing things online now and there's been some really great initiatives put forward by the uh, arts and entertainment world to keep everybody inside in their house, keeping safe, but also able to access a lot of creative things that we all like to enjoy. So. Um, yeah, probably the, the most popular was a festival that was put on uh, over the last two weekends called Isolate. Um, and what it was, was you just logged on to Instagram uh, and there was a set list of all the performers um, and they would each have 20 minutes of performing in their bedroom or in their house, um, live streamed onto Instagram. And you basically went through the day switching to different performers uh, Instagram accounts and watching lots of brilliant live music. Um, yeah, some really, really big names performing uh, and it's on again this weekend, so I'm really looking forward to checking that out. Uh, lots of people have been able to be introduced to some musicians um, and it's been a really, really great experience. So that's excellent. There's also the National Gallery of Victoria here in Melbourne, which obviously had to close. Um, they've had some brilliant exhibitions, which you can do a virtual tour of so it's pretty much like you're walking around the museum um, and you can spend as long as you want with no other people in the way to look at that artwork which has been great as well uh, there's also been a live stream from Melbourne Zoo um, called Animal House where yeah you can watch the animals just throughout the day uh, so I've been checking out the penguins waddling along and um, yeah it's been really nice to have that on next to me on my second screen whilst I'm here at work. So lots of really great things to get you in, out there and entertained um, as much as you can in isolation. But uh, yeah, you know, just trying to adapt here in Melbourne and hope everybody is doing great. Uh, exercise is very important, of course. I'm still going out for the morning run to the park, um, as are a lot of Melbournians, but lots of the actual shared communal equipment was closed. 
um, and all the playgrounds and things like that have been closed to prevent people from gathering in parks so much. So there are people exercising, but it's at a distance um, and generally at different times of the day. So I think it's really important to be able to go outside and do that. But obviously we need to abide by the rules to try and flatten the curve. Um, anyway, stay healthy everyone and speak to you next week. Bye. Lindsay and I'm reporting from Seattle, Washington. Um, today is Saturday, April 4th and uh, as of two days ago for Washington State it has been updated that our stay-at-home order has been extended uh, until May 4th. Uh, it was supposed to end a few days ago but um, due to the circumstances that many states are experiencing it has been extended. Uh, so that basically means that we're still allowed to go outside. It's just very limited um, and we're not allowed to go to like large gatherings or anything like that. We still have to maintain social distancing. Um, uh, the small businesses here have been, definitely been hit really hard, um, but there's been a lot of really cool initiatives to support them in the meantime. Um, one of those is uh, there's a trending Seattle small biz, biz map that's been um, promoted um, that still that basically shows all neighborhoods that we have here, um, all of the businesses that are still open, um, ways that you can support them, uh, restaurants and that sort of thing will show if they're doing takeout or delivery or how to um, contact them, which has been really awesome. So there's still a lot of transparency um, for supporting businesses even when their storefront is closed. Um, one of the other things that I have loved particularly is in uh, the capital area that's usually very um, active. Uh, a lot of the businesses have been boarded up just to protect their space um, and muralists have come. Um, there was a call for them and they've all been basically painted and it's been really um, lovely to see. Uh, even though it's not quite what we're used to, it's still very welcoming. Um, and then uh, there's also been restaurants um, in the neighborhoods uh, who have actually banded together to make meals for the medical staff here uh, in the Seattle area. So they're still getting foods and don't like meals and that sort of thing and don't have to necessarily um, worry about that while they're doing all the work to support the community. So um, those have been really awesome to see uh, in our neighborhood. Hi, this is Tilly from Chicago. Um, been quarantined for the last 17 days, uh, working from home, so very fortunate to still have our jobs. Um, today is really nice and sunny, so just trying to take a little break and enjoy some of this fresh air. Um, the state right now has issued um, an extension um, for the stay-at-home order to the end of the month. So they're really figuring out, like, we need some more time to try to flatten this curve. Um, also, the mayor has extended um, a ban for the lakefront and adjacent parks to keep people from congregating. Um, this past weekend, everyone was out because it was nice and kind of created this whole mess of just people not social distancing, you know. Um, also, the moods around here is uh, still pretty good um, for most people. You know, when the weather's nice, they kind of perk up a little. Um, but unfortunately for some people who have lost their jobs, uh, especially in the service industry, um, there's some initiatives out there. Uh, the local creatives have come up with some funding uh, sites by, you know, either like the printing shirts and selling them and giving the profits back to support these local businesses. So I'll send some you know something along your way to show them. and also um, you know just trying to stay positive um, you know like we're all in this together for sure um, and everyone's feeling the same pressure so um, you know just try to day by day and we are living through a pandemic so this is working through it um, but yeah this is Tilly from Chicago Let's talk to you next week peace Adriana reporting from Bucharest. Here in Bucharest we are under lockdown but we can still go outside for shopping if needed or if our job requires us to do so. We stay home, the majority of us, and I feel that um, in these three weeks that, I'm, that I've been staying home I have went from FOMO to JOMO <laughs> so yeah it feels pretty normal for, for me now. We have many initiatives here, uh, from uh, shopping for the elderly 
to platforms against fake news or that inform you what to do in, the, in these times of crisis. So the civic society really stepped up and uh, even the government is working closely with uh, one civic tech society called For Romania and with some tech startups also, so yeah. Here in Bucharest, we stayed put <laughs> and behaved. So the authorities think that um, in a month or so, some restrictions will be lift. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> um, maybe in two months or so, everything will get back to normal. So yeah, I'm pretty happy of how things went so far. So yeah, my message to you is to keep walking in your house <laughs> and um, let's not lose our hope. Yes, <laughs> take care. Hey guys, uh, this is Claudia from Lisbon. Um, apart from the numbers that are still uh, rising in my country, uh, I think that it's um, most welcoming and necessary to speak about about other initiatives. So the challenge for this week's Lockdown Diaries uh, video log was for us to, to explain, to tell what uh, our cities are developing uh, in terms of helping one another. Uh, since Portugal is a small country, there's no difference between what's happening in Lisbon or Oporto nowadays. So the initiatives that I'm going to present are two. Uh, they are or they are all government um, derived and uh, the first one is for people who are staying at home who have been uh, put under layoff by their own companies um, people who are not working and students that don't have classes um, during this period uh, will be um, invited by the portuguese government to help in healthcare centers in elderly homes um, probably in canteens, um, everything, of course, with the, the, the proper conditions for them to, to stay and work there. Um, that is one of the, the, the most important things that I think that the government is uh, uh, providing um, because we're all in this together and uh, we need to help each other. The second initiative proposed by the government is Portugal Entra em Cena. Um, it's a, a project that helps uh, artists to develop their uh, ideas. Uh, the, the, it's already open so people can uh, share what they want um, and see if the government of course approves. And uh, right now we live uh, within culture, um, music, movies, um, ideas that come from the, the internet are most welcome. So these are the two initiatives that I have to present uh, today. Stay safe.